What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. Big Oz. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you go there and subscribe. There's a lot of cool videos for you guys and to help you guys improve and make your jiu-jitsu better. Okay? And today we're gonna do some things that I'm gonna help Professor Marcos. Alright, so Oops. today we're gonna be here. Uh, we didn't plan this. We are uh, uh, I pick her up from summer camp. Coming straight here and I'm gonna show you some cool stuff. So, when it comes to uh, uh, teaching your child, your 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 kids, you know, and kids at the gym or maybe your own kids at home, it's very challenging because. Maybe they're not interesting, maybe they don't know. So the trick that I like to use is make as much fun as possible and never force them to do it. So this is Lila. So she is a four stripe. She's been training for a couple months. We never forced Lila to train. She started she decided to start on her own. So she's gonna help me today with some good uh, uh, exercise and game to make your life a and lot easier. I got my yellow stripe that means I'm getting the next belt. Gray and white. She's she's white right at, she's right there to get her so her belt. So the yellow belt means she's getting ready for her, her belt. Okay. okay, so today and we're gonna start today we're gonna start with this ball right here. It's very hard to teach uh, kids a brick fall. So this is the safe way we're gonna start we're gonna uh, use the tennis ball just to give an uh, idea what you're gonna do. So this avoid the kids to hit the head on the mat. So we're gonna start like this. So Lila gonna demonstrate, she's gonna be here. So Lila gonna tuck the tennis ball around the chin, right? So now she's gonna sit down and nice and easy and do a break fall, boom. Without a drop the ball, okay? So turn this side and let's do on this angle. So go there, turn the ball, put the ball on the chin, sit down, nice. So this way is safest way so your child doesn't hit uh, the head of the mat. So let's do one more time. Do a break fall with a tennis ball. Keep your tucky chin in and then do a nice break fall. Boom! Without a dropping the ball. And there is a good break fall that I recommend you train and teach your, your, your kids using the tennis ball. Okay? So this one, we're gonna use this ball. So Lila gonna be sitting down. So this teach their how to do a good base. So sit down, Lila. Sit down on the mat. So Lila gonna be keeping the ball right on her feet. Turn around. Now she's gonna scoop back using one hand on the mat. Oh, sit up, sit up, sit up. And now scoop back, sit down, and then scoop back. Don't lose the ball. Good. So this way teaching them how to stay good posture and coordinate their feet tight. So keep going one more time. Don't lose the ball, yes. Good, bend your leg. Use your feet on the mat, use your feet on the mat. Go, bend your leg. No, 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 bend your leg, bend your leg. And now go. Now I turn around, turn around. So usually they, they, they get a little confused, so they need to get used to it. So turn around, turn around, turn around. Bend your leg, use your feet on the mat, and go. Good, bend your leg. Excellent. So she always bringing the leg back with the feet on the mat. Go. Don't lose the ball. So this way they learn how to uh, use their coordination. Good. With the feet on the mat. And at the same time, they uh, they practice how to use their legs and the upper body at the same time using the hip skate. Oh, using the hip scooping back. So on this one, we're gonna be teaching, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a hip scape is one of the hardest hip scape even for adults. Imagine for the kids, right? So Lana gonna be holding this ball just to give her a sense of the hip scape. So lay down here, Lila. Break fall, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Head this way. So Lana gonna be holding the ball. So tell your child to go to your side as much as you can and do a hip scape that way, Lila. Use your feet on the mat. Good. Get your side. Good. And once Lila's been training only for a couple months and she really enjoying this one holding the ball. Yeah, keep your feet on the mat. I always recommend 
Keep your feet on the mat and good. Turn around, line and go back the other way. Go back the other way. So go this side and go. Hold the ball and go. Nice. Always use your feet to push. Excellent. So hip escapes one of the hardest hips, our hardest moves to do. Keep doing it, especially for kids. You know what I mean? So they don't know much coordination. So holding the ball give them more efforts to work from the, their feet. So that's a good job, Lada. Give it to me. Excellent. That was a good hip skate. All right. So this this is one of the games that I, I like to use even for the adults and especially for the kids. Teach them how to do, teach them how to uh, uh, be a good base, how to fight, how to grab, make grips. So this way, uh, uh, this game, Lila, wait a sec. So this way, teach them how to chase their grip, chasing their partner, and, and give a good uh, uh, visualization of the, the fighting, right? So all this point, all this is to teach them how uh, uh, educational games. So they're learn without uh, forcing their self, right? So there's a good way. So I'm gonna have this belt, like uh, I drop this belt, this old belt. I'm gonna chop right behind Lila, right? So Lila had to keep her hands on me because I'm gonna start chasing her around. So she had to keep the hands away. So I'm gonna be here, are you ready? So feet together. You, you teach them how to bow, how to be respectful. Bump, and now shake hands. And then I'm gonna try to get the belt, so you don't let. Good base, good base, good base. Good, make a grip, break the grip. Bump, move around, move around, come to the middle, come to the middle, come to the middle. Don't let me grab, don't let me grab, don't let me grab. Break the grip, break the grip, break the grip, break the grip. Push, 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 boom, push the grip. Boom, nice. So she visualized the fight and don't let me touching her. So I'm gonna try to grab, she pushed me away. Boom, push her away, push her away. Boom, push her away, push her away. Boom. So this is a game that it's amazing to work the tension, work the grip, working how to move side to side. So there's a good game that I like to use with the kids. You can put the same idea behind one person and lot of hold behind the person's belt and you can make with a, a, a four or five people and one person try to go around it makes a lot of fun and then do this for a couple seconds and then you change and uh, and they change the, the person so you take turn so they love this kind of game and teach them the the, the agility so yeah so I don't want to grab my belt so I have to keep her away from me so feet together, shake hands, and go. So she learned how to fight. Good, foot on the ground. Keep going around, go around, go around, go around. Big grip, big grip, and work on them. And then they got, <laughs> and then they get the belt, and teach them. They love this kind of game. So I recommend. Give it to me. I recommend you guys do that. It's amazing. Okay, so this one, it's more for their attention. So they have to listen and pay attention. Doesn't matter the age, so they love this game. So what I do here, I put one, two, three, one side. I put one, two, in one side, and then put one over there. And then let's put four in here, three in here, and two, right here so there's different stations right so Lila gonna be in the middle okay Lila stay in the middle so the child have to pay attention on, on the numbers so they can take a look so one what's number four what's four four what's three what's two what's one so she have to get a fight stance and I'll count the numbers, so she has to be ready and she has to listen in. Okay, so are you ready? So run, I uh, can have fight stance or I can run in place. So run in place, when I count, stay there, stay there, stay there. Run in place, run in place, run in place. When I count number, you're gonna go for the number, okay? Two! Boom! So you go for the two, the station two. Go back in the middle, back in the middle, back in the middle. And you should run in place, run in place, run in place. Boom, 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 boom. Four! 
She have to really think faster. Go back in the mirror, back in the mirror, back in the mirror. Back in the mirror, pay attention, pay attention. So this stimulate the thinking, right? So run in place, run in place, run in place, boom, boom, boom. One. Yes, go back, go back, go back, go back. Now we can mix it up a little bit, so keep calling the number. So she go one number to the other number. Four. Three. One. Here we go. Two. Four. Nice. So this way, she always having fun and thinking faster into a fight. So this way is one of uh, one of the best, one of the greatest game that I like to do with the kids and adult as well. Okay, so this game now is called grab the pineapple, right? I like to call it pineapple because they love the kind of crazy name. I use uh, this cone as a pineapple. So this once again is they have to pay attention and listen, right? So me and Lyle, I'm gonna compete so we can partner up the groups and be here. Lyle, pay attention. So we got to have, touch, the, touch the, the, the cone right here, touch the cone. Good, so now bring back. So now I'm gonna say head, they touch the head. Move back, Lyle. Touch the head, right? Knees, they touch the knees. They have to focus on a pineapple. Touch the toes, head, knees, toes. Pay attention, knees off the mat. Knees, when I say pineapple, they gotta, we have to get a pineapple, okay? So that's the best part. When I say pineapple, they have to grab the pineapple, so they have to pay attention. Head, knees, potato. Ah, I didn't say pineapple, I said potato. So I almost got it. She almost got it, so that means she's really paying attention. So go back. Head, knees, toes, head, pineapple. <laughs> so they have to really yeah. get there and get the pineapple. <laughs> so one but more time. Strawberry. Strawberry, no, let's go with pineapple. Head, base, 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 knees, toes, head, pineapple. Ah, got it. So those are the games that stimulate the thinking, right? And the focus. So it doesn't matter the age of age or group. They always love this kind of game and once again stimulate the game. Pineapple. Okay, give me a pineapple. Okay, so this game, one of the greatest game. It's all. It's so much fun to teach the, the little ones. So this game is to teach them how to make grips and also you can do it anywhere, you can do it at home, you can do it anywhere really, in a park, as long as you have a jacket. So now Lila gonna climb the tree. So so this is what we're gonna do. She's gonna have collar grip, so this is really good for her for their grips. So she's gonna have a grips. I just have to get squats and Lila's already know where to go. So she climb. She have to go under my arm and, 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 and be quiet and keep getting around. Go around and keep going around my back. Put a seat belt. So they have the seat belt on it. So they relate the back take right here. And then you can give a lot of tie your elbows, give a nice shake. They really are tight. And then they keep going around. So we can help them get them stimulate their thought and they keep going around. So go under. Keep don't fall, don't fall. And then you can make it even more fun. If they fall, I'm on a tree, there's water around, and there's alligator. If they touch their feet on the water, the alligator come and bite their feet and then take their feet away. Right? So let's do one more round. So Lila, there's alligator right there, so you cannot fall. So stimulate that they have to focus. Go on under my arm, under my arm, under my arm. Yes! So they're really going around, working really hard. And of course, I'm working hard as well. But they are having fun, and that's what the most important thing. So they make to, she made to my back. So go around my arm without a fall. Keep going. I want to challenge. It's a little windy. You can make a little bit windy. Woo! The tree is fall. The tree is moving. Keep going. Keep going. Fall. 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 Stop right here. Jump right here. Boom! And then they make high five. Boom! So then they uh, be quiet. And then they make uh, uh, fun climbing the tree, go around, they love this game, they're working their grips, their coordination, their strength without knowing that they're trained Jiu-Jitsu. So in this game now, this one is once also related to Jiu-Jitsu, so if you tell the little ones, okay guys, we're gonna pass the guard today, they're gonna be, huh? What guard? What was what, that? Passing what? 
So they don't know, they don't associate guard. So then they don't think like us, right? So you have to simulate the game. So I'm gonna say crazy leg, right? So I'm playing the person on top. I'm gonna be here playing crazy leg. So they like it, so they won't know as a guard. Eventually you can, you can change the name. But for now, let's keep like the, the crazy leg right here. So Lila had to go around. So I'm gonna be here crazy leg. So Lila had to hold my feet, throw it to the side and get to the side, okay? So now Lila gonna pass through the crazy legs first, okay? So let's leave this ball for now here. So pass the crazy leg, get to the side. Go there, go there, push the leg to the side. Boom, get down, boom. Now she had to hold me a little bit. So I'm gonna try to push. She's not gonna fall. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Go back. Let's go again. So she's gonna do it again. Pass the crazy leg. I'm gonna be here. Pass the crazy leg. Push the side. Boom. Hold, 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 hold. And then she go to mount. Go to mount. Go to mount. Boom. She's a mount. Nice. So you can always relay. Pass the crazy leg to side control. And then fight a little bit, and then you get your mount. Go back. Now, the game that I like to play is get the pineapple once again. You can, you can name the mango, you can name any kind of fruit. Ask the, 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 the child, what fruit do you want to get? Strawberry. Strawberry. So, Lottie going to get a strawberry, but before she gets strawberries, that's the rules. She needs to pass through the crazy leg, she needs to get to the side control, and then she get, need to control mount. From out, she can pull the strawberries and raise up and say, Hooray! Hooray! So they have to say, Hooray! They love it. So I'm going to be here. Pass the crazy leg. Arr. Boom, 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 boom. Push, 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 push. Push. Pay attention, lad. Pay attention. Push the crazy leg. Push. Boom. Side control. Boom. Side control. Side control. Mount. Mount. Step over. Step over. Boom. Pull the strawberries. Pull the strawberries. Pull the strawberries. Knee down. Knee down. Knee down. Pull the strawberries. Boom, 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 boom. Lift it up, lift it Hooray. up. Hooray! Go back, let's do it again. Let's do it one more time. Pay attention, Lala, pay attention. She's eating the, the strawberry. One I'm more dying. time, one more time. Push the leg. Boom, side control, side control. Boom, push, boom. Mount, 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 mount. Boom, 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 mount. Pull the, pull the strawberry up, pull the strawberry, pull the strawberry. Pull, pull, knees down, pull, boom. Lift it up. Hooray! Nice. Get up, get up. So, those are the game that they love it and I love too because it's the easiest way to uh, make them understanding the yeah. Jitsu game. Okay? That's so stop, stop. I'm talking. So that's the easiest way to make them understand. And once again it's educational game that they're doing Jiu Jitsu without know and eventually trust me they will get it. a lot of been doing this game for a long time so I don't, I don't even have to say it. So this is what happened. Come on Pilar. So now, look, I'm gonna ask Lila to pass my guard. So I'm gonna be here, pass the guard, Lila, pass the guard, boom, go, boom, mount, 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 mount. And then from here, so she already, I, don't, I didn't have to say crazy leg because pass my guard, <laughs> uh, I, didn't, uh, I didn't have to say pass the crazy leg, I said pass the guard, so she associate and then she passed right away. Right. So on this game now, uh, on this one, I'm gonna ask Lila to pass my guard, get to mount, but she have to control mount. I'm gonna keep ro rolling, doing the bulldozer, so she have to stay on mount in balance. So these are really good to teach your, your child how to maintain mount, right? So I'm gonna be here. So Lila, you're gonna pass my guard. So I'm gonna be there, stay there. So you're gonna pass my guard, so push the leg down, boom. Mount, 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 boom. Now Lala had to stay on, on top. So Lala, I'm gonna roll, you mount, You stay on top, stay on top, stay on top, stay on top. Use your hands and feet. I'm gonna roll, she always follow me with our fall. Don't fall Lala, don't fall Lala, boom. And then from here, I can stay, I can get up. So Lala gonna start, stay on mount, seat belt. Put the hooks in. And then from here, we become a horse. We can go all the way. So she's working her seat belt and her grips. She's working on her hooks. And then from here, we can start moving around without 
let them fall. So this way they're working so hard to stay here like a backpack and they love the game. And then from here, I'm gonna lay down, they're gonna open their legs. I'm gonna lay down, lie, gonna post their hands on the mat and then we can come back the same move. Row, 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 row. They have to figure it out, they have to figure it out. And then from here, go back and then when I come up, she put a seat belt on it, boom. And then from here, you can be like a horse. <laughs> boom. And then you make fun, boom. Spin around, boom. Spin around. And they love, make sure they had to tuck it in. And then they love the mount control and then becomes a horse. And it's really good for, for the child to associate the game and they love so it. This game, uh, I, I like to uh, teach them how to stay on the base with one foot on the front and one foot on the back so they cannot take one foot out. So one foot can be inside the, the, the circle. You can use the belt, you can use the hula hoop, you can use anything to make a circle. It's gonna be right here. So Lila has, uh, I'm gonna tell Lila to break the grip but she cannot take this foot out of here. So she cannot take this foot out of here. So Lila, whenever I grab the grip, you're gonna pull. So I'm gonna circle around. She have to circle the foot inside. Circle, 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 circle. Don't take a foot out, don't take a foot out. And then when I make, circle one more time. And then when I make the grip here, she gonna come both hands and take this grip out. Push, boom. And then I'm gonna switch base, switch base, boom, switch base. Yes, and then I'm gonna make grip. Keep it for the side, don't fall. Make this one, boom, push, boom. So she, they always relate the strong grip. Follow, keep your foot inside. I make a grip, you break. Boom, break, both hands, both hands. Boom, switch foot, switch foot. Boom, and then make grip. Boom, make grip. Break, 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 boom. So this way they learn how to be a good base. They don't keep a feet parallel. They always force with a good base from there. So there's a really good game that I like to use to associate the grip fighting, right? And then later on, you can take the belt off and then from here, okay, you, are you ready? You're gonna break the grip. Your job is to break the grip. So move around, stance, break the grip, break the grip. Boom, boom, one, go, 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 go. Two, move around, move around, move around, move around. Big grip, break, 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 boom. Break, 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 boom. So that way they always learn how to have a good posture and, and break the grips. So, okay, so this one, you can use a belt. Good posture, like good posture. You can use the belt, move like. You can use the belt, you can use a tape on the mat, right? So this is called like a, a balancing. It's still, it's still your partner, right? Still the partner. We're not gonna do balance right now. So, it's still your partner. So, Lila is in one side and I'm on the other side. So we're gonna be here. We're gonna be competing against each other. So they love this game as well. So Lila, we have to be here, close. Lila has to make a grip of me and pull me inside to her team. So Lila has a team. So Lila has to make a grip and pull me into her team, okay? <laughs> but you cannot kick. So stay there. Walk around, boom, boom, boom. Cannot cross that. So when Lila make the grip of me, pull me, hold and pull me on, on top. Boom. So now I'm on Lila's team. So now me and Lila can go there, grab somebody and pull. Right? Let's do it again. Go on the side, go on the side. Ready? Don't let me pull you, so don't kick the belt. I can pull you, but you try to pull me back. So we're gonna have good fight, good fight. I'm gonna try to pull you, don't let, don't let, don't let. So they always force, so pull me, make grip and pull me back. Make grip and pull me. Make grip, pull, 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 pull. Now I'm part of the lightest team. So we always go there, steal someone, and make your, grip, make your team stronger. So usually put a time, a minute or so. So whoever has the most uh, people on the team, uh, I wins the game, okay? So those are really good to uh, teach them how to use, uh, uh, how to teach them how to good, good base, good grips, right there, okay? Okay, so this is a good game, that I, uh, this is a good concept that I like to do too. It's work on their balance, right? So Lila, gonna be here on this side. So they have to stay on the belt, okay? So it's to work their balance, they to concentrate. So Lila, go over there without a fall. So go slow. So they have to step on the belt only, okay? 
There is alligators on the side, so they'll have to cross the bridge. Good. Now turn around. To make more challenging, you can close your eyes and feel the belt, okay? So it's very challenging, so they love challenge. So go there. If you fall, close your eyes. See what I mean? So they have to learn. If you're about to fall, open your eyes. So tell them to close their eyes and feel. Good. Feel the belt. Good. Good control. If you're about to fall, open your eyes. Nice. So this way they associate their body. They're working really hard for the concentration. So and that's what you did is about. You have to concentrate and understand what you're doing, okay? Good. Next one, we're gonna hop over. We're gonna practice our balance. One foot on this side and then boom, boom, boom. Are you ready? You're gonna hop in one foot. No, no, no. Stay here, start here. So we're gonna hop in one foot. Go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice, go back in the other foot. So this way they practice their bounce as well. So go around, go. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, high five, good job. Ah. So, uh, 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 calm down. So this way, they always improve their self learning the, the art, you know what I mean? So it's make fun, make fun for them, they love it. Okay, on this one, stop. On this one, we're gonna be jumping the snake, okay? So stand up, Lala, stand up, Lala. Stand up. We're gonna be jumping the snake. So make a belt like this, right? There's the snake. So Lila, we have to, we're gonna have good grips. Come here, Lila. Now Lila have grips on me. Grips on me here. Lila cannot touch the snake. If that what happens without the snake? The snake will bite you, exactly. So what that means, when you push there, what do you have to do? Mm. Jump over? Yeah. Jump over the snake. Are you ready? So I'm gonna make a grip. Lila, Lila have to free the cell because I'm gonna pull, and I'm gonna try to pull her over the snake, but she's gonna try to break the grip plus jumping. Are you ready, Lila? Boom, boom, jump, 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 jump. Boom, here we go. Break the grip, break the grip, jump. Here we go. Now Lila's focus on two things, breaking the grip, Plus, the snake. the snakes. Are you ready? Go, go, break the grip, break the grip, break the grip. Ah, break, nice. Boom, 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 break. Ah, I hurt. <laughs> Come on, what the snake? Boom, boom, go, 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 break, break. Break, with your hands, with your hands. Boom, nice, one more time. Boom, 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 jump. Ah, break, boom, break the grip, boom. So they love it, those kind of things. And that's what I mean. So you always make fun in a way that they enjoy. Okay, everyone, this uh, uh, is an educational game that I always like to teach the kids. So uh, I hope you guys like it and share it with friends and also help uh, the community grow. It can be in a gym, can be in your home. So you want to say something to the camera, Lila? To the kids out there? Say, stay here, stay here, stay here. And say something to the camera. Say, tell them how you like Jiu Jitsu. I like to do too when I get my guard. So you get your guard, so right? So you play a lot of games that learn how to play guard, right? So you want to encourage them, say, make sure you have fun with everybody, right? Make sure you have fun with everybody. Very good. So we always want to train it so we have fun, right? So up high, down low. Oh, she got me. <laughs> so good. She's already learning that. So up high, down low, too slow. So that's how we, we the, wait, wait, now focus here. That's how we uh, like to train Jiu Jitsu. Once again, Lila just trained Jiu Jitsu for a couple of months and she's doing amazing. All of those small methods that I like to teach and these things that I create, these things that I visualize what they can get better on. So I'm trying to help you also, Lila, stay over here and grow your Jiu Jitsu and your child. So I appreciate. So if you guys wanted to see you, uh, uh, more of my instructionals so go on bgfanatics.com I'm gonna leave the link around the descriptions of this video and once again thank you so much for the support and if you like this video make sure you share with your friends and help me grow this oh. channel and help me help you grow okay let's oh. be together oh. Oh. have a good day nice thank you guys so much I really appreciate your support if you like to see more videos, make sure you like and subscribe my channel. Peace.